Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a full day of eating and I am so excited to be filming this. I have wanted to do one of these for the longest time. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the meals that I eat in a day as a school teacher. So I give you guys the timings of when I eat, I give you some ideas for on the go. You obviously don't need to be a school teacher, but if you want to meal prep or if you are busy and you don't work from home, these are some meals that you guys can make on the weekend or the morning before and then you can take them in Tupperwares and eat them on the go. I do not meal prep my dinner so you'll see me make my dinner a couple of hours before I cook it. You obviously can meal prep dinner, I just personally like to home cook my dinner every night. Like you'll see in the video though, sometimes I meal prep it a couple of hours in advance or sometimes I'll even like make the patties or make the meatballs or cut up the chicken and freeze it like on the weekend and then defrost it and get it ready for the weekdays. Really quickly before we started, I did just want to let you guys know that I do use my fitness pal and that's how I track my calories. Speaking of calories and macros, I eat about 2000 calories a day. For lots of you that will be too much and you won't lose weight because it is quite a high calorie goal for somebody who's eating in a deficit, but I do work a very active, well not very active, but quite an active job as a teacher. I do minimum 10,000 steps during the week. I do a lot of dancing, a lot of singing, a lot of movement. So my average calorie burn is about 2,400 calories. I highly recommend that if you guys are wanting to lose weight that you do start by at least being aware of what calories and macros are in foods. You don't need to track them as intricately as I do, but do just sort of be aware figure out how many you should be eating in a day and try and get as close to that as you can. I did start out this journey on 1800 calories, so I ate pretty much the same foods as I do now, I just had smaller portion sizes. So you guys will see I have a very big lunch and a very big dinner, so I would just make the portions a little bit smaller and then that would make it easier for me to hit 1800 calories. I also did want to say that I forgot to include one thing in this video and that was my greens powder because I unfortunately don't eat vegetables, it's like a mental block thing. I don't really want to go into it in this video but I know that somebody will say that I didn't include any greens and you're right, I did have a greens powder though, let me show you the one that I take. I use this one here from Tropica, it's their Ultra Cleanse, but you can use any kind of green powder to supplement your diet. I mean I'd probably recommend one of these even if you do like eat vegetables like a normal person but I have one of these every single day. I just forgot to film it but I have put it in my weekly vlogs before if you wanted to go and check that out but I just think it's important that if you're not getting something in your diet you need to supplement it. I will have all of the foods, the recipes, links, macros all in the down bar if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And without further ado, let's get into the what I eat in a day video. Good morning. So right now I'm about to take my pre-workout and normally I would take this at around 6 because I go to the gym before I go to work. Right now it is definitely not 6 because lord knows I don't get up at 6 in the holidays. But if it was normally a school day I would be getting up at 6. I like to work out faster which means I don't have any actual food or true calories in my stomach. Because I do take a natural pre-workout it does have some calories in it but I don't count it as breaking my fast because A it's less than 50 calories and B it's not really solid food. So I don't eat before I train, that's a personal choice. So the pre-workout that I like to use is one that I got online and it's natural so it doesn't have any artificial additives or sweeteners. Um, it's all natural which I think is awesome and it's from Protein Supplies Australia. It is the Spark pre-workout. I have this in the strawberry and passion fruit flavour and it's not super sweet so if you guys are going to get this be prepared. It's not like overly sweet so it's just like a pink powder and all I do is I add one teaspoon, one heaped teaspoon to the water. Now for the rest of this video I will be like turning you so that you can see me doing stuff but for this part I'm just going to do it with the camera upright because why not? And the other thing that I add to it is this product here which is called Alcar and it's basically a fat burner. It's acetyl L-carnitine and it's in its purest form um, from this brand. It's like really natural so you only need a tiny bit and I honestly do mean a tiny bit. I don't even know if you guys can see how tiny that is. It's actually probably too much but a quarter of a teaspoon is all that you need. I have it in a woman's best shaker because I don't have any other shakers but I don't drink woman's best anymore so I probably should blur out the logo. But I just shake it up, get a really good shake, and then I just drink that on my drive to the gym. It doesn't taste very sweet, that's why I like it, it just tastes like more of like a natural strawberry taste. But I have this every single day, 
that I'm going to the gym and then sometimes I'll have it on days that I don't go to the gym just because I feel like it gives me a little bit of energy. All right guys, so it's time for me to have my first meal of the day. I am feeling very hungry and I'm ready to eat. So normally I would have this meal at around 10 a.m. because that's when we have our first eating time at school. I make sure that my first meal is really rich in protein and also rich in carbs just to kind of like replenish everything that I spent while I was working out. So normally there would be about a three hour gap between me working out and me having my first meal. I've done lots of research and the research will says that it is fine to wait in between working out and eating. The reason why I don't have breakfast is because I practice intermittent fasting. If you guys want to know more about it, I highly recommend that you look it up. But I also just don't really have time in the morning for breakfast. I'm not hungry first thing in the morning and I feel like this works really well for me. So today we're going to be having Greek yogurt with berries and granola. Another meal that I really like is overnight oats. I will leave a link down below to a vlog in which I make my favorite overnight oats recipe. I'll cut the time so that if you click on that link it sends you straight to the overnight oats recipe. You definitely could take the one that we're about to make with you to work, you just need to keep the granola in a separate container so that it doesn't go soggy. My key to how I track my macros and everything is using a scale. So this is from Kmart. All I do is I just pop my bowl or plate or whatever on top of it and I zero it. Makes it so much easier to weigh and measure your portions. This is the granola that I'm gonna use. It is so delicious. I got it from, you can get it from um, Pack and Save, but I got mine from New World and those are the macros there. I'm also gonna be using some protein Greek yogurt. This basically just has more protein in it than normal Greek yogurt. Um, oh, that is very watery. And then here I have 75 grams of defrosted frozen raspberries. I just pop these in the fridge the night before if I'm having them with oats, if I'm having them with this. I just put them in the fridge the night before so that they're not... I don't like having them hot, I like having them cold, so I just let them defrost in the fridge. And because Greek yogurt is quite sour, I am going to add a little bit of this Natvia stevia sweetener, just a little bit. So I'm just going to weigh out about 100 grams of this yogurt. Um, sometimes I would have a little bit more, sometimes I'd have a little bit less. I just cleaned off my spoon and I'm going to put probably about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of sweetener in. Don't want too much in there because you don't want it to be too sweet. But just a little bit just makes it nice and just a little bit less sour, you know. Now with granola, you need to be so careful to look at the serving sizes because you would put like heaps of granola on not realizing that only 45 grams is one serving. So I'm just going to zero this and I'm going to put on 45 grams. 45 grams right there. So that's 45 grams. It's actually quite a large serving, to be honest. And then I'm also going to eat some raspberries. I have 75 grams here, like I said earlier. These are the most beautiful raspberries. Let me show you the bag that we use frozen in a minute. But yeah, that's kind of what my breakfast looks like. And yeah, by the way, these are the raspberries that we get. They just have one kilo bags. And they actually are like super beautiful little raspberries, as you can see. They're like full on raspberries. So this is a little bit of a lower calorie breakfast for me. If I have overnight oats, it's about like 500 to 600 calories. This one is only 375 calories. It has 43 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, which is awesome. And it only has 15 grams of sugar. Barely any from the raspberries. So if you're eating keto, you can totally eat raspberries. They have barely any sugar. So, and here's what my breakfast normally looks like. So good. Time for meal number two. Now I would usually have this meal at around one o'clock because that's when like our big lunch break is and that's my last chance to eat pretty much before the end of the day. So I know I eat quite close together. Um, in an ideal world, I'd probably eat further apart just to let my body kind of like digest a little bit better but because of the way that my work works that's not really a possibility so my favorite thing to do hands down is to meal prep meals in little containers like this that i can just bung in the microwave and heat up and then if i'm on duty i can eat while i'm on duty or i can sit down and eat it in the staff room this will be great for those of you who like to have the chance to eat at your desk or eat with your colleagues or what have you. They also have chickpeas, which I do store separately, and then I mix them all together. I actually did film this meal prep for you guys. I filmed it another day this week. I just put them in the fridge. I made three portions this particular time. Sometimes I make more portions that last me up to five days, and before you say anything, I know most people won't eat chicken for more than like three days. I personally don't mind. If I didn't make it clear, it's Israeli couscous with chicken and chickpeas. So I will show you guys the meal prep right now and then I'll see you on the couch when we eat it. All right, so here I am chopping up some chicken and I have got 570 grams 
Well, actually probably more like 600 grams. I do cut off quite a lot of chicken. I don't like eating the yucky chicken. But yeah, I just cut it into very small cubes, as you guys can see. I always use chicken breast, by the way. I always pop it into a bowl once I'm done so that I can measure it. As you can see, we've got about 170 grams of chicken and I'm using Moroccan and chili flakes to season it. Next, we have the chickpeas. So take them out, rinse them. You also need to remove the skins, which I forgot to include. And then I put a little bit of olive oil and I put lots of spices. So Italian herbs, garlic powder, paprika, and of course some onion flakes, which I really, really like. And then you just need to shake it all around, put them in the oven for 10 minutes, then mix, then 10 minutes, then mix, then turn off the oven and leave them in there for about five minutes. I'm just making some chicken stock for my couscous to go into. So I'm just gonna pop that in and let it boil for about 10 minutes. Once it was boiling, I just moved it to a different element so that I didn't use the big element. For that, I wanted to use it for the chicken. So I just pan fry my chicken and here I am shaking my chickpeas. And you just need to cook your chicken until it's browned on all sides. And then I just evenly divide the portion into however many containers. So it was 50 grams of couscous per serve about 150 grams of chicken per serve and I've got I don't know how many grams of chickpeas but it's 1.3 servings of chickpeas. Normally I'd get four serves but this time I got three. This is what it looks like fresh out of the microwave. The reason why I keep the couscous and the chickpeas separate is because if I put them together then they would get soggy whereas now when I mix it together some of the chickpeas are a little bit crunchy. If you want your chickpeas to be crunchier, um, I guess roast them for longer. Mine are like half and half, I don't really mind. And I'm going to devour this. But like I said earlier, you want to try and drink as much water as you possibly can. Um, as a teacher, it is inconvenient because I have to run out of the classroom to go to the toilet. But I still think it's important for digestion and stuff. So I'm already on to my second bottle of the day. I just sip throughout the day. And it gets in heaps of water. Plus, I don't count the water that I have at a gym because that's a different drink bottle. So I've probably already drunk about one and a half litres of water today. Nearer to two. I'd say I drink between three and four litres of water a day, I'd say. Um, and I go to the toilet like ten times. So I just smashed down that lunch. Although I couldn't actually eat all of the chicken. I had 150 grams there because that's how much the amount that I had divided out to be. But I probably only ate about 125 grams, so I just left some of it, I couldn't finish it. But all in all, it was real yum. I've made it heaps of times before. Make sure if you make this, put some salt and pepper on it before you eat it, because I always find that it's bland, unless I do like the, there's heaps of flavor in the chicken, but the couscous is bland, so a little bit of salt and pepper just makes it like perfect. All right guys, I'm gonna check the calories and the macros up here, but there are 511 calories, 54 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 43 grams of protein. So quite a low fat meal. Most of the fats, well all of the fats pretty much came from the chickpeas. So yeah, so far so good. I am really, really full. Normally on a school day I don't eat again until probably about 4 o'clock. So quite a big gap in between these meals and that's kind of like, usually it consists of a protein shake and a light snack. So when I get hungry... I will come back and we will enjoy that meal. All right guys, so it is time for our afternoon snack. Now, normally at this time of the day, I would have a snack and a protein shake together just to really tie me over until dinner time. But today, as you guys will see very soon, I am having a huge dinner. I'm having burgers, so I actually don't need the protein and I don't need the calories. So I'm actually not gonna have a shake, but I will show you my favorite brand so that if you guys wanted a recommendation, you can Yes, have my recommendation. So my favorite protein is this one here from Botanica Blends. And Botanica Blends is an Australian company and they are like really natural, they have vegan proteins and no I'm not vegan, as you guys will see when I have my dinner, anything but vegan. But I do like to have vegan protein because I like to minimize my like whey and milk intake. I have the cacao and hazelnut and I also have the caramelized popcorn. They're both really delicious. I will leave them linked off down below. And if I can find a discount code for you guys, I will put it on the screen right now and I will put it down below also. So normally I will have a quarter cup of this protein in about a cup to 300 mils of almond milk. You can have it with water, but it obviously tastes better with almond milk. So that's what I would normally have at this time. But like I said, I don't really need it today because my dinner is super protein filled. So instead I'm going to have a light snack. And now this is something that I have most days because... 
It is low calorie, low fat. It's just so delicious. It's quite high in carbs because it is made out of rice, but it is the Sun Rice Rice Cake Bites in Smokehouse Barbecue. And I'll show you what they look like. This is a brand new bag. They just look like this. They're like little mini, mini rice cakes, if you can imagine. And they taste like barbecue and they're really crunchy. Listen. Mmm! And the serving size on these is huge. You can have 50 grams, which is half of a bag, and it's only about 200 calories. But today, because I am having a really high calorie dinner, I'm just gonna have probably about 25 grams. So I'm just gonna quickly measure them out, and then I'll show you. Also, for full disclosure, I did have a white monster earlier. These are like sugar-free, calorie-free energy drinks, and I got one, had it like an hour ago. Right now it's like half past three, oh, it's four. Four o'clock, so this would be when I'd normally have a snack after school. Um, I would never normally drink this this late, but I went to the supermarket and it caught my eye anyway. So this is how many is 25 grams. I don't know how many are in there, maybe like 15 to 20. It's a pretty decent serving. Normally I would just have a full serving, not a half serve, but I don't really need it today. I'm not super hungry, I'm just kind of peckish, so I'm going to have a nibble at these and then we'll eat again. Thanks dishwasher, <laughs> closer to seven. Time for me to prep dinner. Sometimes I won't prep dinner. Sometimes I'll make it and then, well like prep it and then cook it straight away. But today because Corpu and our flatmate have work until seven, that's like a couple hours later than usual, we'll be eating dinner closer to eight or maybe even a little bit later tonight. So I'm gonna prep the dinner now so that when they come home, it's ready to just chuck it into the pan and be done with it because I do wanna go and visit my parents this afternoon. So. It's just an easier way for me to get food ready. So we're gonna be having beef burgers and I am super duper excited. Corpo and I will be having them in just regular old bap buns. We prefer baps to burger buns. I don't know why, we just like baps. I'm just gonna get my ingredients out and then I'll show you how I make my burgers. It's really simple, but I'm gonna show you because it's what I eat in a dip. All right, so for the patties, I've got 100 grams of mince here and the reason why I have it separate is because we have like mince in the freezer and I just broke some off because I needed about 600 grams. So in this one here you guys can see there is 530 grams so all together it's just over 600. I don't always use breadcrumbs in my patty mix. Today I probably won't but let's just pop all of the mince in. I just try to buy prime or premium mince because there's less fat content in it um, and I always 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 drain all of my mince dishes because I do not need any extra fat. Always have to support free range when you can. So one egg is gonna go in there and then for my spices, now what I do is I basically just open these and I just keep adding to my heart's content. Oh, I forgot garlic salt, give me a sec. So these are the four spices that I love so much. You'll see them in all of my meals, but the first one is Italian herbs. So I'm just gonna start with like a little bit and then I just add more because we do like them quite herby and like flavored. Then we've got garlic salt, which is really strong. So I'll start with a tiny little bit. A little bit of onion flakes, which I don't know if you can see those, but they're just like little chunks of like dehydrated onion, which if you guys know me, you know that I don't like regular onion. So onion flakes are the good way to go. And I just added some chili flakes. That'll be enough chili flakes don't need any more so I'll put that away and now I'm just gonna squeeze it all up and then I'll add some more herbs I was gonna see if I could do it without breaking the yolk but we failed the main thing is just to make sure that you're like mixing the herbs through now I'm just gonna rinse my hands so that I can touch the shakers I'm gonna go in with some more onion flax I'm gonna use a little bit more this time because this will probably be the last little bit of um, seasoning we do quite a bit of Italian herbs and then a little bit but not too much garlic salt Okay, that was quite a lot, but I'm not gonna salt and pepper these. I'll let, um, you know, we can salt and pepper them when we eat them. And then just one more time, one more good squish around. Hopefully you guys can see the scales, cause I can't, but I work in negatives, so I'm just gonna grab some out and check if it's 100. Just peering over the top. 108. 101. 100 okay so now that I've got a hundred gram ball it's actually quite a lot of meat as you guys can see I'm just going to work it into quite a flat patty because if as you guys probably know 
um, meat patties do shrink quite a lot. So I've just stuck my finger into those two patties to remember that they are the bigger ones. The rest of them are all the same size so it doesn't actually matter but I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. You can also like stick cheese in the middle if you wanted to but these are quite small patties so I probably won't but I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and then I can cook them later. So I am just frying up our bacon rashes, each of us having two rashes. So I just pan fry them and then I put them on a baking tray and they just bake in the oven just so that they're a little bit more crispy. So I always do my bacon first. Now in a pan, I just put way too much olive oil. That's why I just kind of wiped it away with a towel, just enough so that it won't stick. This is a non-stick pan, but you know, never hurts. So those five aren't my patties. I actually cooked mine separately, but I just gave them maybe like three minutes each side. And then I slapped some cheese on top for about the last minute so that it would melt on. Oh my gosh, these were actually so delicious. I'm really hungry. So this is me making mine. I had two 100 gram patties, 40 grams of cheese, and 50 grams of bacon. And also like 10 grams of butter. And look at this bad boy. Oh yeah. And for dessert, you guys, I'm of course gonna have some Halo Top. How could I not? Gonna have two servings, which is half a pint of the chocolate Halo Top. I'm just gonna weigh it out and then show you guys. Rewatching this footage made me so hungry. Last night's dinner was amazing. Everything that I had yesterday is one of my staple meals that I would recommend to anybody. I try to not experiment too much with what I ate. I know some people do like more experimental what I eat in the days where they try new recipes, but I wanted to show you guys stuff that I know tastes good for my taste buds that I enjoy. So if you guys would like to see more of these videos, please let me know down below. Before we go though, I did just really quickly want to run you through my day on my fitness pal so that you can see kind of what it looks like. All right, so as you guys can see, over the whole course of the day, I ate 1,965 calories. Of those calories, 375 came from my breakfast. 511 calories came from my lunch. I had a really light afternoon snack so only about 100 calories came from that. My dinner was the big punch of the day. I know some people like to have more of their calories in the morning but because I work out fasted I do like to have a nice big dinner so that all of my glycogen stores are full and ready to work out in the morning so I had 815 calories for dinner. And then for dessert it was a nice 160 calories to finish off the day. And this is the overall nutrient breakdown of the day. It was pretty close to what I usually like to have, a little bit low on the carbs. My goal is to hit generally 10 grams either side of my macro goal. If it's a good day, I could get it 5 grams either side, but I'm pretty happy with this. But yeah, I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. I have had so many questions to film this and I've been really looking forward to it. I am more than happy to film more of these for you. So if you'd like to see that, please let me know. If you have any other fitness, lifestyle, health, food, video requests or any other kind of video requests for that matter, pop them down below and I will totally film them as soon as I get the chance. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye!